There's so much crazy tech that's coming out in 2025. It's a different year because it's the culmination of many technologies coming together. In the past, they amounted to nothing, but in 2025, things are gonna get wild. So let me walk you through what I've seen coming in 2025. Let's give her. Personal assistant robots are on the way. While Nvidia, Elon Musk and a few others look poised to deliver human-like personal robots. The ones that are here first look like your vacuum. Check out what SwitchBot is calling the first multitasking house robot. It's called the X20 and it's a vacuum, but it's also a delivery unit, a movable screen, a camera, and an air purifier, and more. Of course, you need all those things in your house and you're still gonna have to attach those things to the platform, so it's not quite Rosie the Robot, but this is a literal platform for SwitchBot to build off of and they have huge plans. Now everyone's talking about RoboRock's vacuum with what I call a picker grabber. It's a robot arm that cleans up in front of it so it doesn't vacuum up your socks or whatever else is on the floor. That's a pretty helpful assistant. I'm excited for those robots to hit our homes. I'm also excited for robots like Dreamies, which are able to now leap up to six inches. That's a huge jump and it means robots are gonna be able to go up and down stairs and help you with all these tasks. But one of the things that help robot vacuums do more is AI. I've been down on AI a little bit. It kind of seemed like it was gonna launch us forward for the last couple of years, but nothing has really materialized to change our home life and in a lot of cases, even our daily lives. Sure, it's easier to search and get info, but we need AI to take another step. And this year, it's gone. NVIDIA showed off their $3,000 AI supercomputer called Project Digits. It's meant more for developers, but it's this kind of computing device that I think will revolutionize the smart home. This is where AI will change everything. Now it's called edge computing and we've had these little examples of edge computing on things like smart speakers, smart cameras, but this kind of a box could run a whole smart home and it would make it easy to run one. Not like today where you gotta build all of your automations and manage your entire home. These kinds of in-home processing powerhouses can be used to do a lot of the work for you. Now we won't see AI fully take over your home in 2025, but it's gonna be a wild ride to watch AI suddenly be embedded in your home. We're already seeing some great examples of AI being pushed into your home without much computing power being attached to it. That's because companies can use cloud services. Ring just launched what's called their video search feature that lets you search for anything that happened in front of your cameras. Google has something like this coming right now too. And actually, I've been contacted by a few other companies that have a similar feature coming. AI is analyzing the videos that are taken by your security cameras, and then they're able to create a searchable database for you. This is just the tip of the spear. AI is being embedded right now in all kinds of smart tech, all of their apps, and those first iterations are gonna be greatly improved upon in 2025. So I'm so excited to see what's next. In order for an AI or a robot, or really any of your smart tech, for it to work right, there's one big thing that's required. The tech has to have amazing sensors that help them to make a decision. A great example is your thermostat. It needs a temperature sensor in order to heat or cool your home the right way. But in 2025, the tech behind sensors, well, it's already taken a major leap. There are some new incredible options for personal health tech, and we're finally seeing that industry mature. A great example of that is there's a lot of blood glucose monitors, which as I said, it's a pretty sad state of affairs for us in North America, but smart mirrors that can do full analysis of your body, they're finally ready for us to put those in your home. Now, as a guy who wears glasses, I love the idea of the Halliday frames. I'm not saying these are 100% ready to go into your life, but uh, the fact that they're not trying to embed everything in the lens, 
which is always a problem with these smart glasses, is a big deal. I don't love that I've got to look up with them, but that's a small price to pay for just putting regular lenses in smart frames, and I think that'll change everything for smart glasses. Ultra wideband is a really important technology that's gonna take a massive leap in 2025. There's a number of locks that came out with ultra wideband embedded on it. And with statements that say things like, as you're walking up to your home, your door will already be unlocked. I saw multiple door locks with palm sensors. I love this technology over and above things like fingerprint scanners, which can be problematic in the cold. And I love that it's not something that's gonna be easily replicated. Those sensors are reading like the vein patterns in your hand feels very secure to me. The presence sensor replaced motion sensors in smart homes a little while ago, and that's because you don't have to sit there and wave your hand at a sensor. Now, presence sensors just know you're there, but Akara announced a version that is battery powered. It uses all the latest connectivity options for smart homes, so you can have Matter, Thread, or Zigbee. But even better is this technology that can power over the airwaves. And we've heard a lot about this in the past, but I think this kind of a system has the potential to remove batteries from your battery powered sensors entirely. And it's things like this that are gonna shift the whole smart home industry. Now there's even more coming out in regards to sensor tech, but this is the year that the robots and the AI systems, they get the data they need to make those great decisions. Just a few months ago, I built a great dashboard for my smart home, it means I can control my entire home off that screen. Well, the trend this year is to put screens on everything. LG and Samsung are leading this new wave with all of their smart appliances that have AI embedded in them, and then they have those screens too. Now, LG has been showing off their refrigerator doors that let you see inside without opening them. And we've all seen the little camera systems that kick out info on to an app. It'll tell you basically what's in your fridge. But this year, LG showed off a fridge that not only had those see-through windows and those cameras, but they also had a touch screen. So when it analyzed what you had in the fridge, it kicked out recipes on the screen in front of you. Then you could scroll through those and pick the recipe you wanted. Screens like this are going to get smart home control. Both LG and Samsung are ready for this. And it's not limited to your smart appliances. Your smart door lock is gonna get a little screen on it in 2025. Now, there are multiple of these coming out this year that have a little camera on the front of the lock and a touch screen on the inside of your door that'll show you who's there. So you're not always having to pull out your phone. The combination of all those crazy technology improvements have me so excited for the next year. I very easily Imagine a robot moving around my house, taking care of tasks, and all of that being on a controllable screen with all the info I need. All of this technology is ready to go. So this year is the most excited I've been because I can see it finally coming together. I hope you do too. Now, there's one other thing that's fallen out of CES. That is the different products that were launched or announced. I compiled the very best smart tech products coming in 2025. And that video is up on screen there. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, live smart.